After more than a year off because of COVID, events and conventions are finally starting up again and are really so hyped because comms can bring along so much unexpected meetings and opportunities and they're super fun. So as an aspiring manga co-illustrator with a manga, comic or animation style, we often think that we have to limit ourselves to manga conventions, but actually no. Today we'll see different types of events, the advantages, the disadvantages, the type of audience and which products sell well there. Afterwards, up to you to see whether your art style and work could fit in there. And if you're new on this channel, welcome! We talk about art and business every Tuesday at 6pm, so if you're interested, subscribe, I'd love to see you again. That being said, let's get started to sell your illustrations. <laughs> Before talking about the different types of events, I wanted to make a distinction between the sides of the event, big or small, international or local, because it will definitely influence your audience, your sales and obviously the money you can make. There are lots of small fairs, usually organized by associations or local authorities, which are more local. Advantages are they are much smaller and there is less competition and therefore it is easier for you to get noticed. Disadvantages, the local side might be too restricted with a smaller clientele. For the bigger events, you have the advantage of a very large audience, often international, or who are not afraid to drive for hours because they are very, very interested, which gives you great opportunities to make your art known on a larger scale and actually to sell more. But yeah, at the same time, it can also be a disadvantage as there are many exhibitors and you can sink into the crowd while often paying for a very expensive booth and uh, yeah, you can also have potential hotel and traveling fees. Before you sign up for any event, just ask yourself those questions. First, what is your goal? Is it useful to travel for or is local fame enough for you? Second, do you prefer a more competitive environment or do you prefer to be almost alone in your specific style? And third, do you have the budget to invest in travel, booth, hotel, food in addition to your art products? When I started conventions, my dream was to exhibit at the French Japan Expo because it's the biggest French manga and anime con, there's lots of visitors, lots of sales, everyone goes there. I never made it, <laughs> but instead I attended all the little local events I could find here around. And that worked pretty well because I didn't have to worry about hotel costs, plus I was often on my own with a style that could actually stand out better and easily attract people. So my main activity is to host manga drawing workshops and local events allowed me to meet interested people who lived in the very same area for in-person classes. And thanks to word of mouth, it allowed me to get more local customers to make a decent living from art. So first of all, I invite you to ask yourself what your intentions are. To travel, make big money, to work with local clients, to reach as many people as possible all over the world <laughs> and have customers buying everywhere in your online shop. Depending on your answers, the type of events you attend will be different. And that being said, let's go through them. The most obvious choice for most of us is manga and anime conventions. You'll find a rather young and geeky audience, animations, cosplay, Asian themed booths, fandom and more. Considering their audience, all the little illustrated goodies work great like bookmarks, badges, stickers, prints and so on. It's really easy to produce, it's affordable to buy, so it's really a win-win situation for both artists and clients. And if you're just starting out, you'll find a video with all the trendy products to have on your booth in the description. Basically, it's in this kind of events that you can sell the most diversified products, generally at prices that are more affordable for the young public. 
If you have a manga, graphic novel or comic book in paper format, chances are that you will be led into comic book fairs. Here you'll have an audience of all ages usually used to queuing for hours to get a signing from their favorite authors. It is possible to sell your classic conventional assortment of posters, prints and more, as comics are a visual universe and fans generally love to support the creators. Normally this is where you will sell the most books, so make sure to have enough stock. Unlike book fairs where people don't necessarily expect manga or comics, people are really here for illustrated content and they are relatively open to all graphic styles. Statistically speaking, I always sell the most books at comic fairs, so if you have any books you might be really interested in that. Once again, if you have some comics, graphic novels or manga in paper format, or as well illustrated books, whether they're yours or illustrated collaborations for clients, you can sell at book fairs. The organizers usually allow decorations and you can furnish your booth with posters, bookmarks and all your goodies to sell as well, which will make it easier for you to stand out. Most authors, especially self-published ones, will have a small table with just a bunch of books, maybe a banner, and if you show up with some nice drawings people can see from afar, well, it's a bit unfair, I know, but it's much easier to catch the eye and to get noticed. So here we have an audience of all ages, children, teenagers, parents, elderly people. While your illustration may attract, sales are not always guaranteed because people don't necessarily expect to see a booth specialized in manga or comics. Some people will really be pleasantly surprised and buy, others will pass. And with book fairs I really had both extremes, like one of my best fairs and one of my worst where people didn't even glance at my table. But well, every new fair is a bit of a lottery and you never know before you try it. Sometimes you'll find children's fairs if your style lends itself to it because you have illustrated children's books for example or if you have the possibility of offering an animation for kids related to drawing, this could be a possibility. As far as the audience is concerned, obviously we have some children, but ultimately the parents will decide whether or not to buy. Here you can totally focus on drawings, posters, small goodies, badges, stickers, etc. The more colors, the better. Most booths rely heavily on visuals to attract children, so if you can get up high and spread your stuff around, it's really perfect. Personally, I found myself at a children's book fair without really knowing how and why, and it turned out that my drawing style is a mix of uh, Barbie and Monster High. And indeed, little girls love the goodies and posters, so I would also advise to have a few items that are a bit cheaper, especially for children who go around like, mommy, I want, I want, and parents just buy the cheapest thing to please them and to make them happy. Sometimes regularly organized craft fairs where you can find painting, ceramics, sewing, jewelry, liquors and food. So yes, it is special. The audience is much smaller and of an older age, um, yeah, generally over 40, but they do appreciate original creations at much higher prices. If manga cons are why you bet more on small and affordable products, at craft fairs you can go with the more expensive and special products. For instance, you can have framed originals, print bags, mugs with illustrations, postcards and more. Indeed, this is not at all the target audience for manga, but it can be interesting depending on the place. It's at this kind of fairs that I showed up with like uh, one meter printed canvases and they sold pretty well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained and even if you don't sell as much, it makes up for it because the sales will be much more pricier and expensive. And finally, there are the thematic fairs, sci-fi events, fantasy fairs, steampunk events, medieval festivals. Kind of like craft fairs, you'll find a bit of everything like art, jewelry, sewing, food, clothing, where the emphasis is definitely on originality, except that here it's really hyper-focused on a specific universe with an audience of all ages. I often feel that somehow, because these events are less common, the visitors are really engaged and it creates a strong and interested community. Of course, to participate, your universe needs to fit the subject. 
I've been participating in a steampunk event for several years in an old train station with a steam train taking the visitors and lots of disguise and costumes and it's really a timeless space. And I feel like the themed events are kind of the adult version of manga cons somehow. You can sell the same products, but be careful to put more emphasis on the motives that really fit the theme. And it's also possible to bet on more special and expensive products, as well as unique handmade creations like at craft fairs. So those are the different types of events where you can sell your illustration products and books. Have you ever attended any of them? Or do you have a preference for a certain fair in particular? Please share your experience in the comments so that we can inspire each other. And of course, it's possible to do only one type of event, some of them might not be adapted to your style and audience. But I always assume that, yeah, I'm nothing ventured, nothing gained, so why not just try? If it doesn't work once, you can always do it afterwards. Personally, I like to alternate between different types of events because, yeah, I, I just love switching between different worlds and having nice costumes and everything. Now, it's up to you to see what suits you best. If you're just starting out or need some advice on how to sell cons, please check out my playlist Artist Alley, Online Shops and Sales. I share lots of tips on these topics. And if you want more tips on how to grow from art to business, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so we can meet every Tuesday at 6pm, alternating between one week English and one week French. Thank you so much and see you soon!